Good morning, good morning guys and ladies. We are leaving the Left Bridge Petro Pass right now. We're gonna go get back on the road. We got about probably seven and a half hours worth of driving left to do today. And then we'll be at our delivery place. Today is Canada Day, so I want to wish everybody a happy Canada Day. I know it's uh, going to be released a week after I film this, but uh, at least I get on it, you know? Anyways. It's another beautiful day this morning. My swelling of my legs has gone down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it's gone down. And uh, I think I forgot to even mention in the video there for on the weekend there that uh, what exactly happened was uh, We were coming back from fishing and it had rained a little bit and uh, I stepped in on a rock meters, and I uh, left on 30 was docking the, do uh, the boat. In 200 meters. I was docking the boat there back at the island there and as you know it's all rocks. So uh, stepped on a wet rock. Boom I went. Slid off the rock and right between two rocks and that's where my feet was anyways and then you know i realized uh, something had happened <laughs> and 100 so meters turn right on Bedlands trail highway three we got up and uh, looked at the damage that we had uh, suffered and uh, wife luckily had a uh, first aid kit with her so she was able to uh, take the first aid kit and uh, clean it all up and uh, continue on this road for 375 kilometers there was even some uh, cream or something I forget exactly what they call it but some kind of cream that you uh, put on a wound that's supposed to protect it from uh, infecting and stuff like that. So she was able to do that right away. So I put a big patch on everything. And uh, well, I don't think it is infected. Uh, it's just my feet are swollen up like crazy. But I'm still able to do my job. It's not painful. Although I can feel it constantly, but it's uh, not to the extreme pain, you know. Oh, look at that. This is totally different. I wonder what that is supposed to be for a, a boom or something. This is what you guys get with me you know traveling through uh, different parts of the countries and uh, you get to see all kinds of different sceneries you know but anyways let's continue on rolling I think I got about two or three maybe four hours to the border and then we'll be in the USA have a look at this guys we are still in Alberta on Highway 3 and it looks like we are starting to get into the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, I never knew that they had this many Rocky Mountains up here. Mind you, I've been down this road before, I believe I have, but it's been a long time ago. But it's starting to look rocky mount look like more like rocky mounts that's for sure but we knew that was going to happen because uh the further west you go the more mounts you're going to see by the time you get to uh british columbia it's rocky mounts so i should be entering uh british columbia 
we are coming into the Rocky Mountains. Look at this, guys. We are still in Alberta, but uh, we are getting into the Rockies, as I said before. Isn't this gorgeous or something? I think it is. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to have some good video footage coming in the next couple of days here. Because I'm going to be going to uh, Surrey, BC, according to the dispatch. So if that happens, I got to come back to the mountains. So I think we'll have some good video footage here in the next week or next couple of days for sure. Anyways, I'm enjoying the view. I love Rocky Mountains. Here we are entering British Columbia. Oh yeah! The beautiful country of Canada. At least it is for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. October 1st to March 31st, carriers must carry chains. All right. I think we're past March now, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I think today is July 1st. <laughs> oh, I know today is July 1st. I'm just joking around. Just having fun. That's all. Got a way station coming up here pretty soon too. This one is usually open. There's the beautiful sign of British Columbia. Yeah, let's see where the scale will be at. Should be coming up here just around the corner. Almost looks like they are closed today. Yeah, this one is almost always open, but. I guess today is my lucky day. Oh, I don't have to worry about it anyways. It's just, you know, you lose a little bit of time. Oh, there's a deer on there, in the ditch there. Okay. Yeah, you know, you gotta get off the highway, get on there, you know, and then get back on the highway and get back up to speed so it's slowing you down. But, that's the way it goes. Here we go guys, we are going to go through a tunnel, yeah, look at that, we're going through the rock, oh yeah, we are having fun, that's for sure, beautiful sceneries I've seen already all day long, oh yeah, we are in the center of the Rocky Mountains now, that's for sure. I've been doing some uh, time-lapse pictures on the uh, camera there and see how they are going to come out or how they are going to turn out. So far so good. Hey guys, look at the beautiful scenery we got up here. We got a big lake up here to the right and we got some mountains in between it. But we are starting to get closer towards the border. I think we're not very far from the border anymore. Maybe another half an hour, and we'll be uh, we'll be entering uh, Idaho. Yeah. I just figured I'd turn on the camera and see how much we're going to be able to see on the camera here from the lake and everything, and see what we can show you guys. Oh yeah, I love it when I can show you guys some new sceneries and places that I haven't shown you guys before, I haven't been before, and oh yeah, that gets me excited. Here you go guys, now you should be able to see it a little bit better, now you show, oh yeah, you should be able to see that, no problem there towards the right, the big lake up there, oh yeah, I saw a couple of boats there a little further back, and they're fishing up there, probably some good fishing in there probably is there's probably not that many people going here to fish well, there are probably some good fish in there that's for sure oh yeah there's a boat right there I don't know if you camera is going to be able to pick it up but it's really close to shore yeah I could see him there a little bit but I doubt it if the camera picked it up oh well Anyways, 
we'll continue on rolling and see what else we find interesting here we go guys we have just entered Idaho yeah took a while to get across the border but speed warning we got across the border yes sir -y. That's all that really matters, right? We got to cross the border. Campers. Right. Yeah, let's put my glasses on here. It's sun is pretty bright out here today. Welcome to the United States of America. Welcome to Idaho. Yeah. this guy is doing up here oh no parked halfway in my lane oh well anyways it took quite a while there to cross the border longer than I expected it but yeah well we got across and here we are in Idaho Let's get down the road and uh, I think I'll go to the truck stop up here. I think about 30 miles into here there's a truck stop up there and probably stop up there and make a pit stop. And then we'll continue from there. Alrighty guys, we are just uh, about across from the truck stop and that's where they have a DOT scale. So we gotta go across the DOT scale. See what they're gonna have to say to us today. Yeah, look at that. Looks like we are looking good with the winds today. Well, we knew that because we scaled it, right? Oh, yeah, no problem. At least with the weight, it's no problem. So let's go to the truck stop, which is literally just around the corner. In 600 feet, turn right on US 2, and then turn right in 100 feet. All right, RJ. You tell him. You tell him. Yeah. Basically, if we come to the scale, we gotta take the circle and go around like that to the scale and scale her, and then we can go south again. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna go pull her in here and go to the truck stop. Now, turn right and something. then turn left in 800 feet in 0 0.2 miles. There we go. Not a whole lot of parking up here, but I guess we'll just park wherever, just like this other guy does. Go. Alrighty, guys, we'll be right back. Hey, guys, we are going on US 95 and just take a look at this. We are between water on either side. I guess it's a bridge that we're driving on, but it's really close to the water. So it's looking pretty good. Nice big lake. I guess we could go fishing in here, but I don't have a life vest with me. <laughs> Anyways, we will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we just had ourselves a bit of a pit stop up here at the Flying J. Yeah. We got ourselves some juice, go go juice. Fueled up the truck, that's what I mean by that. State uh, had me a shower. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back on the road and get over to our delivery place. We got a hundred miles to go. We'll be at our delivery place, so let's get over there. Here we 
we go guys we just entered Washington and the scale is open they told me to come in we got that pre-pass system there and uh, which lane they want me to be in follow the air okay doesn't matter I guess which way I go all right they got really small arrows up here <laughs> no we'll go in here and see what they want lower our windshield a little bit side loss there before crossing the scale stop you can probably see we are finished for today Sun is still pretty high but it is already uh, late uh, uh, according to our time but uh, eh, at least we're here we gotta go deliver it here tomorrow morning really early so uh, we're gonna go to bed here pretty soon and uh, so that way we can get up uh, early tomorrow morning so figure I close off the show and uh, say I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you again tomorrow so thanks for watching and be sure to share the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button right there in the corner and we will see you again have a good one behind me that day is gonna come